Today I'm going to teach you how to use calipers. I know a lot of you think you know how to use calipers, but you'd be surprised. There's actually four ways that you can measure with calipers, and most of you only know about three ways. So today I'm going to show you the fourth way, which is extremely useful. So before we get started though, I have created a Patreon account. YouTube doesn't really like me posting anything about reloading, anything about uh, you know, gunsmithing, reloading, uh, shooting, any of that stuff they really don't like. So um, I don't want to risk having my channel taken down. So I'm going to go ahead and start posting all this stuff over on Patreon. And hopefully some of you guys can go over there and support me over there. Uh, another thing that I said on the latest video, one of the uh, latest videos that I made was that uh, <laughs> about getting quarter MOA groups consistently. I was talking about F class, okay? For PRS or hunting or all that, uh, half MOA groups is, is a good load and it's not very hard to achieve you know, once we follow the uh, simple steps that I'm going to teach you. So anyway, I just had to clear that up because a, a lot of you actually thought, you know, quarter MOA gun and pretty much hunting and all applications. Now, don't get me wrong, you can get there, but it's really not needed. So anyway, um, calipers. So as I was saying, there's four ways that you can measure with calipers. Okay. So right now they're closed. They're zeroed out. Okay, um, everybody knows obviously about the OD, right? That's how you measure OD right there. And then you can measure ID like this, right? And if you need to measure the inside depth, obviously we use a little tail on the end like this, right? But what about if you need to measure this step right here? What do you do? This is where everybody has uh, a problem and they use that this is where they use these calipers incorrectly what do they do they usually try to do this right and measure however that is not very accurate because if you tilt these calipers like this all of a sudden your measurement is not correct so this is where the fourth feature comes in handy okay if you look at the back of the jaws right here the back of the caliper okay these jaws, when they come together, they're perfectly flush. They're both zero. If you do that, they're at zero, okay? But as, as I start to open them, you will see this jaw right here start to move away from this one. And if you look at it right here, it creates a step. That's there so that you can measure these steps right here, okay? Super easy. So. To recap, you have OD, you have ID, you have depth ID, like this, and then you have depth OD, like this. See that? Very, very simple. This fourth one is the one that most people don't know about. And I use it all the time. I mean, there's always a step that you need to measure. <laughs> it's really that simple. Uh, another thing before we jump off, let's talk about calipers. Calipers are not very accurate, okay? There is resolution and then there's accuracy. They're totally different things. If you go look at these, uh, these are the Mitutoyo IP67 coolant proof. This is a fairly expensive set of calipers, but even these are not super accurate, okay? Back to uh, the resolution. So the resolution on these calipers is 0 0.0005. That's half of one thousandth resolution. That's the display. That, it, that just tells you what the display is, okay? The accuracy on these calipers is plus or minus one thousandth of an inch. So these calipers are only accurate to two, uh, two one thousandths of an inch, okay? Obviously, uh, if you get a good feel for them, you can get it you know, within a thousandth, but the manufacturer does not claim that they're even good enough for one thousandth measurements. So you have to be aware of that. Okay. Uh, I see a lot of you posting, uh, you know, measurements like base to O jive or, you know, just whatever measurements. And you guys are using that 
that last five, that half of 1,000 measurement, that means nothing. It absolutely means nothing because that is way outside the accuracy of these calipers. Uh, that number may as well not even be there. It, it really means nothing. So be very careful when measuring with calipers. And of course, then you you know you stack your your comparators and all that stuff, and you're just stacking a lot of tolerances because everything that you put on here has a tolerance. And uh, you know you'd be lucky if you get within one thousandth accuracy. So anyway, just want you guys to know that. Um, another thing that you need to know is, especially if you have more than one set of calipers, I mean, I have, you know, I have these and I have these, you know, these are all the same. Uh, and then I have another set over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I have another set over here. So I have three. This one I have set up for a shoulder bump. This one's for base to ogive. And then these right here are kind of just like my my uh everyday whatever i needed me you know measure these are my my other sets of calipers and uh as i was saying it's very hard to go from one to the next to the next because a lot of times these because of the accuracy you can be measuring the exact same part with all three of these calipers and they may get a different dimension so again be extremely careful uh, if you want to verify how close they are to each other Piece of uh, sorry, I lost my light earlier, but uh, as I was saying, if you really want to verify how close these are to each other, you can get what's called a gauge block, okay? So a gauge block is a uh, certified, pretty much a gauge that is exactly one inch or whatever size you get it. Uh, I got one that's one inch. And this is what it looks like. Okay, make sure you don't drop it or anything. <laughs> but this is certified to be one inch. So you can use this gauge. What you do is you clean your uh, calipers really good. Let me close them and zero them out. All right, so you take your calipers. Oh, again, don't drop it. <laughs> right there. See, that's exactly one inch. So these calipers are good to go. And I would just do that to all the other calipers and make sure that they're all reading correctly, okay? Because you never know. So make sure. it's it, These gauge blocks are fairly cheap. They're about 30 bucks. I will put a link in the description below as well so that you guys can go and get you a gauge block if you desire so that you can have it around and for example if you're measuring like i was saying let's say you have calipers and a micrometer you take the caliper and the micrometer measure everything with the one one inch that's why i got a one inch because i have micrometers that are zero to one inch and then one to two inch so then i can use the same gauge block to make sure that they're all good that's all i got on the subject and uh I will see you guys next time. Again, go to Patreon, support me. I hope all your groups are one whole. <laughs> see ya.